Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see an interesting video about 5 creative ways to use OpenAI GPT-3's Insert Text API. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Ramsri and I am an AI developer currently building two GPT-3 apps, supermeme.ai and question.ai. Without further ado, let's get started. So you might have come across OpenAI's newly introduced insert API and there are some obvious use cases with the insert API where you can give some initial text and end text and ask it to insert some text in the middle. So probably you can give a movie plot where you give the beginning of the movie plot, you give the end of the movie plot and you ask OpenAI GPT-3 to insert in the middle. Uh, well, those use cases are obvious, but uh, I wanted to, you know, explore new use cases where you can actually leverage the bullet points use case that is uh, very powerful. So today we'll be looking at a few newer use cases where we are going to use bullet points and explore um, OpenAI GPT-3's insert capabilities. So the first tip is to use it to fill progression level. So for example, what you see on the left here is the input. Uh, the following are the levels of progression for a software engineer. So if you have no clue about how, what are the levels involved from going to a junior software engineer to a CTO, all you can do is just give bullet point one, junior software engineer, and give bullet point six, CTO, and you can ask OpenAI GPT-3 to fill the other levels for you. Here you can see senior software engineer, lead software engineer, principal software engineer, chief software architect, and then CTO. So similarly, you can use this to create hierarchy in uh, pretty much any other profession for example uh, ship crew where you have uh, where it starts from ordinary seaman who takes care of cleaning and other things and then there is captain who is the highest rank uh, shipman and you can generate several levels between there and the other thing is that you can dynamically change the number of levels that you want uh, for example if your corporate company or st startup decides that uh, you need to have let's say 10 levels from going from a junior engineer to a CTO all you can do is just ten, change this to 10th bullet point CTO and uh, OpenAI will try to uh, smartly fill from 2 to 9 uh, the progression from junior software engineer to CTO. CTO. Let's look at the same thing in action in OpenAI uh, GPT-3's playground. So once you open the playground, you will be able to see some new modes here. So apart from the complete mode, which is text generation that uh, we are aware of for the last one and a half, two years, uh, there are two new modes introduced, which are currently in beta, insert and edit. So we are going to look at the insert beta uh, mode. So I am choosing the example which I already have created which is software progression level. So here you can see the following are the levels of progression for a software engineer and you can see from 1 to 6. Click on submit and automatically you will see the output here senior software engineer to principal, distinguished fellow and CTO. For example you can change this to 7 then it will fill up uh, um, five more levels so senior lead senior lead software then principal and distinguished software engineer etc so you can change this dynamically now let's go to the second use case so tip two is actually you can generate multi-panel memes so it's not obvious um, on the outset to see how we can generate memes using the insert API, but you can actually think of 
insert API as some smart fill in the blank kind of machine. So you can use it to create multi-panel memes. What I mean by that is you have this meme here, uh, which is uh, increasing in cognitive level, but actually the meme uh, shows that whatever you are doing, the tasks, the tasks decline in progression. So it's actually in reverse where um, the images show that the cognitive level is increasing but the actions are actually in the reverse so this is how the meme looks like which is this is studying before the test then uh, studying for the wrong test is the worst which is at uh, inversely at highest cognitive level so what you can do is smartly just give studying before the test and studying for the wrong test and you can ask it to fill in the middle uh, with using the insert API. Again, this is a four panel meme, but you might have seen like six panel or seven panel meme as well. Um, and uh, at supermeme.ai, which is our AI generating, uh, which is our AI generation app for memes, we test out some interesting things for multi panel memes. So you can check out supermeme.ai as well later. Now, what exactly happens in this multi-panel memes? As I mentioned previously, you can give some description like here is a four step progression that degrades in every step. Then you can give the first bullet point as studying before the test and just give insert. And the fourth bullet point is studying for the wrong test. And it will automatically fill in these two uh, meme texts for example here studying the night before the test not studying for the test so not exactly the same but they fit in quite well with the meme template etc as i mentioned you can even take multi-panel memes that are almost maybe six images or seven images and go through some kind of progression and do the same let's see the same thing in uh, our playground so if you go to the playground Again, I, have, I just have this instruction. Here is a four step progression that degrades uh, at every step or in every step. Then starting before the test and uh, just click on submit. And you can see that automatically studying while taking the test, studying after the test and studying for the wrong test. So one and four are already there in our multi-panel meme template that we have given and it will smartly generate second and third. Now coming to the third tip, which is uh, generating instructions for a task. So this example is kind of uh, the baking example that OpenAI uh, has already given in their uh, blog, etc. But nevertheless, we'll see how this is done. So you can just give instructions for a task. For example, the following are instructions to groom your cat and you don't need to do any you don't you don't need to even know anything about grooming the cat all you can do is give some generic bullet point like bullet point one prepare the cat to groom and bu bullet point eight is now you have a perfectly groomed cat why i'm emphasizing these is because you don't even need to know what exactly happens you can give a give a generic starter and an end point and OpenAI will smartly insert in between. As you can see, just run, the, run with this input using the insert API and you'll get very clear instructions, which is preparing the cat to groom, then gathering your supplies like brush, comb, um, then start with the head, work, work your way down the cat's body. Of course, it generates all the eight points I have not shown here. We'll see that uh, very soon in the, um, playground now why is this important because uh, people are very good at following instructions than just a blob of text so companies and marketing teams can create flyers or instruction man manuals for their customers or consumers so that it's psychologically easier for them to remember and follow the instructions for example uh, if you're cooking, if you're preparing a cooking book or something like that, even 
preparing dishes um, you can use these uh, giving instructions for a task a prompt and ask it to smartly fill let's look at it look at it in the playground as well again i am in the playground where the following are instructions to groom your cat prepare your cat now you have a perfectly groomed cat and you have insert let's click on submit as you can see openai gpt3 has smartly filled up all the things for us preparing the cat to groom there's a paragraph place the cat in a comfortable position there's some paragraph begin by brushing the coat trim the nails clean the ears clean the eyes give the cat a bath so pretty solid as you can see now let's go to the fourth uh, useful tip as well as nice use case which is generating a pathway towards a goal that co goal could be anything uh, in our case for example i want to grow on twitter then you can just give something as simple as here are the tips to grow on twitter first thing is sign up for twitter then insert and 10th step is celebrate your 100k followers so you don't even you don't even need to know anything about growth etc you can give a generic starter like sign up and you have a goal in mind which is 100k followers and automatically you can see that openai's gpt3 fills up with these interesting ideas which are pretty much on point follow some people tweet something interact with other people get on twitter chat collaborate with others create a twitter list then uh, celebrate your 100k followers pretty solid let's see the same thing in playground again i have the same thing in playground and i clicked on submit and we got these things here which is uh, pretty much on the same line seek out influencers to follow use twitter analytics then celebrate so it's pretty much on point um what we have generated is a nice uh, growth timeline now the thing is that uh, you can even smartly adapt to you know getting to 100 followers or 1000 followers or 1 million followers because the strategies to get to 100 followers might differ from uh, 100k followers etc so uh, hopefully openai adapts smartly and not just for this but you can think of any use case and uh, kind of uh, get nice interesting growth pathway now let's move on to the tip uh, tip number 5 which is generating topic outline for blogs so you can just give some input something like this the following are the blog topic outlines for growth hacking in startups then you just have some generic introduction and conclusion and ask uh, gpt3 to insert so it has smartly inserted these bullet points what is growth hacking the benefits of growth hacking the growth hacking uh, process growth hacking tactics so now you can think of these as headlines for blog topic and you can further expand on what is growth hacking and generate a paragraph etc but if you have some streamlined thought of going from introduction to conclusion and teach about growth hacking in startups you can see how openai gpt3 created a nice progression uh, for blog topic outlines let's see the same thing in uh, playground now we have the same thing in playground where i have created blog topic outline the same thing that we saw i'm clicking on submit and you can see how it has created and again remember that every time it generates the generation is not fixed uh, if you keep some randomness in temperature uh, etc so uh, you will get interesting ideas history of growth hacking the growth hacking process techniques case studies and conclusion now we have come to the end of the five uh, tips for you to see how you can interestingly and creatively use insert api of openai gpt3 uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and if you want to learn more about modern nlp and transformers i have created a nice course on question generation using nlp on udemy you can check out the course link in the video description below thanks for watching see you soon